nice hiking trail right above it to the left too. Called Canyon Trail. It takes about an hour, hour and a half to get up there. A lot of people, I think, hike into that waterfall thinking they're going to get a better view of that waterfall. You really can't see it. You get right above it, and it's unfortunate you can't see it, but it's still a beautiful trail. On the other side of the river from the way you come in, one of the cool things, there's an unmarked, unnamed trail. It's, it's not really an authorized trail. It comes right around this point right here, just on the other side of these trees. Coolest picnic spot in all of Kauai, as far as I'm concerned. A helicopter company brought this picnic table in. You got a green picnic table right there, you can see it. So right here is Poomau Canyon. The next one over is Kauai, Waimea. And truthfully, unless one of the helicopter pilots has a day off, you're probably going to have that all to yourself. That's uh, very rare to see other people up there. If you're writing a tour, tour guide book, please don't put that in there. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. I want to keep it though. A uh, cool thing, back in October, we were flying around up here, and somebody came in on that little spot. They figured out where it was at. They hiked all the way in there with one of those uh, dinosaur costumes, and they were standing on top of the picnic table waving at us and stuff. And it was the very first flight of the day. The second flight of the day, they were still there, and it just so happened, the third flight of the day, I had these young boys on board, and they were all about dinosaurs and Jurassic Park, and you know, I just kept teasing them. I was like, I know where dinosaurs at, and just keeping my fingers crossed the whole time. No, you don't have dinosaurs here. And, Oh yes, yeah, a nice dot. No, they're not nice. And then we came around the corner and whoever it was came running out of the trees, jumped up on the picnic table, kind of did a little dance, waved at us and took off running. Those kids went nuts, man. They were, Mom, did you see that? It was, it was perfect. Yeah, so this is the first overlook over here on the left. You look straight down as soon as we cross the edge of the tr uh, canyon right there, you'll see the road highway 550. It has a beautiful view this morning. If you look straight ahead, that's the island of Ni'iau, the big island right there. The small one over to the right kind of looks like a Hershey kiss. That's the Lihue. We don't always get a chance to see that, but visibility is great this morning. So The Robinson family we were talking about earlier also owns that. So the island of Ni'iau, a total of 91, 92,000 acres altogether. This is all part of Kokea State Park. So between Waimea Canyon and Kokea State Park, about 19 hiking trails. You'll see numerous four-wheel drive roads out through here. This little section that's cleared off in front of us, that was a wildfire three and a half years ago. And so uh, the state just came in this last summer, pulled out all the rest of the dead trees. Anywhere where you see a blue stake or kind of a purple stake, they're replanting koa trees. It only grow at certain altitudes out here. It's beautiful wood. A lot of people hunt this area. You have the mule deer that was first brought in from Oregon in 1961. Also a lot of wild goats along the canyon in this area. You may smell those guys before you see them. They stink pretty good. And wild pigs throughout the island, but this is an area that uh, most people hunt. All these white domes over here to the left. There's a couple up to the right also. That's part of Barking Sands Missile Range, guys. It's a, it's a Navy base. One of the first lines of defense for the United States as far as being able to track missiles, intercept missiles. Oh, and you guys may notice we have a few wild chickens on the island too, yeah? <laughs> Anybody know why we have so many wild chickens here? We only have the one Kentucky Fried Chicken on the whole island here. Yep. <laughs> no, we have, we have the chickens because in 1992 we had Hurricane Aniki came across the island and a lot of chickens escaped. This is the only Hawaiian island that does not have the mongoose, so they do not have a natural predator. So they just began to multiply over time. And they eat centipedes. We don't have snakes here, but centipedes give horrible nasty bites. And we would really rather have the chickens as opposed to the centipedes. Only problem is they don't care if it's 4 a.m. here on holiday. They want you to wake up. Uh, 
Uh, welcome to the beautiful Nepali coast. Red roses too. I see them blue. I'll make sure everybody gets a great view. So I'll bring a couple of beaches along the right side. Jeffrey and Carol, I'll bring it right back around on your side. Make sure you get a great view too. The first beach you're going to see, guys, just now coming into view, has the big arch going right through the middle of it. That's called Hanapu. That arch is the tallest sea arch in Hawaii. Right at 90 feet tall. You may recognize it from Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It's been photographed many, many, many times. What a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow. So the second beach is Kalalau Beach. And that's the end of the Kalalau hiking trail, if you're familiar with that. It begins all the way at the end of the island, as far as we can see right now. That's called K.A. and it ends right here at Kalalau. Right above Kalalau Beach and Hanapu is our famous cathedrals. And this is Kalalau Valley. Michael does a tour bus. Does it go all the way to the end of the road to the Kalalau over? And think so. I probably can't get turned around up there. If you ever drive up here, you end up right there on that ridge up there. A lot of times the clouds are hanging right over the top of it, and you can't see down through here, but when you can, it's beautiful. And Kalalau Valley right through here, this is uh, the largest valley along the Nepali coast. You guys are awesome. And you get to ride the boat around here this afternoon. You get to see this again from a different angle. You know, come out here to Kauai and uh, live really cheap. There's about 35 people living in this valley, <laughs> off and on, so it's illegal to do, but the state uh, comes in here about twice a year by helicopter. As soon as they land, they just take off and hide, and then they come right back, so. Again, Jeffrey, Miss Carol, you have Kalalau Beach. See some tents at the back of the beach this morning, people camping. And then the, the famous cathedrals right above that. And again, the Hanapu with the arch. I'm going to take you guys all in uh, back in Hanapu Valley also. We usually just go into Kalalau, but I'm going to show you guys Hanapu. Now, I was telling you, Hanapu Arch was in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Back before I worked here, the Blue Hawaiian flew Captain Jack Sparrow in and out of here for nine days doing the filming for that. When the movie came out, there was only nine seconds in the movie, so I don't know what that bill was, but I'm sure it wasn't cheap. And uh, every time I go buy a small bag of popcorn for $15, I wonder if we still pay for that or not. They normally can't land even a kayak here at Hanapu. You can't even land a kayak there. The only way to legally see that is to, to swim in. Reason being, Hanapu here, this is a very sacred place for the Kauaians, so you have to be in all of Hawaii. This is called the Valley of the Chiefs. 